Alhamdulillah Thumma salatu wa salam ala rasulillah Wa ala ahlihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma bad Fassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Inshallah we are going to be discussing about payments So how do you receive payments from your clients Especially when we are working with clients internationally so inshallah in this video i'm going to demystify all what you need to be able to receive payments into your nigerian bank account even when you're working with people in the us uk canada australia and other western countries or other parts of the world so now the idea up till now is that whenever we are working with anyone or whenever we communicate with them we're going to be communicating with them via email or other sources so there are some of them that would actually prefer to use upwork to pay us do you understand why there are some of them that will want to pay us outside upwork and the reason some of them i want to pay us outside upwork is because upwork charges them a fee so maybe someone that wants to pay 100 dollars for example upwork can charge them 20 dollars so if there is a means with which they can actually pay you outside upwork to avoid those charges some of them will actually prefer that so we're going to be explaining how you can receive whether it's on upwork or whether it's outside Upwork. So we're going to be explaining how you can receive your payments. So when the payment is made on Upwork, all you just need to do is link your Pioneer account to your Upwork account. And once the payment is made on Upwork, you can actually just receive your payment into your Pioneer account. And if anyone wants to pay you outside Upwork, you can always just send them a link to make the payment via um, Pioneer. So basically, whether it's Upwork or outside Upwork, you definitely be needing a Pioneer account. And Pioneer is an international company that allows you to receive um, currencies, I mean, funds from different parts of the world. And people all over the world, e-commerce businesses, um, freelancers, and a lot of freelancing uh, platforms recognize Pioneer as a major source of fund disbursement. So it's, so it's going to be advantageous for you to, to have a Pioneer account. So once that is understood, and we understand that okay we have a pioneer account the second thing is how do you receive the naira equivalent so the way to receive the naira equivalent is two the first way is using gray.co and the second way is using an exchanger now on pioneer you would be able to withdraw from your pioneer account even to maybe your nigerian account for example but the side effect of that is first there is usually very long delay and second is that you don't have a very good exchange rate offered to you so the exchange rate is usually very very poor so you are at the mercy of pioneer and the nigerian banks when it comes to exchange rate but gray.co is actually gives a competitive advantage whereby you can actually withdraw to your nigerian bank account and it's going to be actually competitive even with the exchanges so but the side effect of gray is that you might need to wait for let's say about a few hours depending sometimes it could even be a few minutes or up to a day depending but if it's weekends it might take up to a day but if it's not weekends during the weekdays a few hours you should be able to withdraw it into your gray account so what gray does is that they're going to give you a united states bank account a, a euro bank account and also a pound sterling bank account so any of these bank accounts you can link them to your pioneer because pioneer also gives you yes the account that's united states dollars bank account a euro bank account and also a pounds bank account so you can link it to any of these bank accounts that Gray gives you and once you link it to it you can actually just change it to nigerian uh, you can convert that balance let's say you have 50 dollars in your balance on gray you can convert that 50 dollars to nigerian naira and send it to any nigerian bank you like so that's how we actually withdraw funds now there's something i want to explain and is that the second one which is exchanger is usually faster it's just like you knowing someone that you trust and just ask the person that okay um please i have maybe 50 dollars 100 dollars you need it if he needs it it's just going to send the naira equivalent and you're going to send it to him so the only condition is that you need to trust him but it can actually occur in very few minutes do you understand but if it's someone you don't trust then there's risk in, involved whereby you can actually even just lose your money to someone who, uh, who you don't know or someone you don't trust so it's very essential that whenever you're dealing with exchangers it's someone you trust and if you have a new account that's a new pioneer account you would not be able to use exchanges because there's a feature on pioneer that allows you to send money to other pioneer accounts but you need to have made up to one thousand dollars before you can send money to other pioneer accounts so that feature will not allow you to be able to use exchanges early during your journey on pioneer however when you've made up to one thousand dollars you'll be able to send money to other exchanges and you'll be able to also 
have competitive rates with that. So we at Allow Dollars too, we actually um, purchase dollars because we usually need it for our businesses. So you can also contact us if if you have um, current funds that you want to actually exchange. So this is an overview of everything. So summarily, you can withdraw your Upwork account, your Upwork funds into Payoneer. And you can also use Payoneer to receive funds from international clients. And whatever funds you receive from international clients, you can either withdraw it using Gray or an exchanger. But for you to use an exchanger, you have to have made at least $1,000. So that's basically the summary. So if you're having a new account, you actually be needing a Cray account to be able to get your money in Naira. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you first how to create your Payoneer account and secondly, how to create your Gray account. So for your Payoneer account, um, you just need to go to Payoneer's website to actually just get started. But we also have an affiliate link that we're going to be sharing with you. So that affiliate link allows you to earn $25 and we too would earn $25 for referring you. So we earn $25, you earn $25 so into your account. However, that's $25, you won't be able to access it until you've made $1,000. So, and the same with us. So it's just good we make it as plain as possible so you understand what is involved. So the advantage of you using our link is just that you make extra $25. But if you don't, if you don't, if you feel that you don't need it, then you can just go to pioneer.com and sign up yourself. So I'm going to be walking you through how you are going to get this done. So I'm going to be putting the link, our that's our referral link. I'm going to be putting it in the description and I'm also going to be pinning it as the first comment under this video. I'm also going to be adding the link to the resources document. So such that you can just find the link any in any of these locations. So I'm going to be showing you how to get started now. So, so this is the challenge sheet. So this is the link here, the Pioneer registration link. You can see it. So this is the link. All you need to do is copy it, then you open a new browser and you paste it. So, so this is the link. So what you just need to do is click on register. So choose that you're a freelancer. Then click this link. And click on register. So it's going to be asking if our business is registered. So, so you just leave it as no. Then it's going to have for some basic information, your name, your first name your first name is the name people call you by your last name is your son name your email address is the email address you want to be using with this pioneer account so it's very essential you use an email address that you have access to and an email address that you receive notification on a lot as in an email address that you have easy access to so then you are going to re-enter that same email address here and you're going to be required to input your date of birth so i'm going to pause this video now and i'm going to fill in the information here and i'm going to proceed from there So I'm done filling the information and what I'm going to do is I'll click on next. So the next thing is going to ask me for is my country. Yes, I'm from Nigeria. It's going to ask me for my address. So I'm going to input my address here. So whatever address you want to input here, be sure to have a means of um, proof of the address. That's ensure that any address you want to input is an address you have proof of address for, whether it's your electricity, recent electricity bill or um probably statement of account maybe your statement of account carrying your name also has that address so, but make sure you have proof that okay you actually live at that address so it's very essential so i'm going to be imputing the address and also i'm going to impute my phone number so make sure the phone number you're using is an active one and is an is a number that you can have access to because you're going to be receiving verification code on that number whenever you want to sign in so i'm going to pause this video and input the information and then we'll proceed so when I imputed, tried imputing my address, usually it will pick your address from Google. So if you can't find your address listed, all you just need to do is select um, input address manually. There's an option there. You just see it there when you try to input it and it can't find, you can't find your address there. So when you input it manually, it's going to ask for your zip code. So the zip code is 
you can easily get the zip code for your location by just searching for your city maybe you are in ikeja for example ikeja lagos you just say ikeja zip code and you are going to see the zip code do you understand so this is even for more specific so if you click on it you will see the areas in ikeja so if for example you are in abuja too you can do the same you say abuja zip code you can see that there are a lot of zip codes here that it's it's showing for abuja so it means that abuja is too large so you can actually write the area in abuja maybe you can say kubwa for example kubwa zip code you can see you can see Buari. so you can just pick it and you go do you understand so basically the zip code for any location you are located just search for the zip the location and zip, put the zip code in front you are going to see the zip code you can use so in my case so i've searched for my zip code and i've imputed it here so you just do the same thing then also you are when you input your phone number here you are going to see a send code this send code you are going to see it and you will need to click on it to send code to that number when it sends the code to that number you now input the code there once that is done then you'll be able to click next if you don't do it this way you won't be able to click next so you must click on send code after imputing the number up here and thereafter you're not going to be able to click this next do you understand so now that all of that is understood we are going to now click on next so now we are going to be setting up our password so it's going to be asking us to set up our password here and we enter the password it's also going to be asking us for a security question so for this security question you pick one and you write the answer for a security question you can look for somewhere you can save it somewhere you can either write it in a book or maybe you can use something like google keep if you search for keep if you go to keep.google.com if you go there that's google keep so this is it so you can just take note and you can just write that information maybe the question and the answer when you write it there you, it will save it for you so anytime you need it you can just go to keep and you will see it there so whether it's on your phone or on your system but make sure you are signed into the same google account and you'll be able to access it so this is keep so just so you won't lose that information then the last thing they are going to be asking for is the id number so if you have your nin so you just provide your nin number here and you'll be able to move on and if you don't have your nin you can also use your driving driver's license or your passport in my case i'm going to be using the nin now that i've explained everything that needs to be done i'm going to pause the video and i'll fill the information myself so i've imputed all the necessary information and i'm going to click on next again so this is the last part of the puzzle and that has to do with you imputing your account details so you're going to be imputing your account details here so your nigerian account bank account details and you will be able to proceed so in my case i'm going to choose my bank and i'm going to input my account number and i'm going to agree to both terms the first one and the second one so i'm going to do that in a bit i'll input my account details and we'll proceed so let me pause the video and do that so another thing i need to mention is that the name on your account details is also going to be the name that you must use to create your account uh, your pioneer account so what i'm saying is that your your account name and the name on the account you are going to be using that's the nigerian account you are going to be using with your pioneer must tally they must be the same so you have to ensure that you bear that in mind when creating your pioneer account so once all of that is done then we can submit so i'm going to be clicking on the submit button now so alhamdulillah so we have successfully created our account we've applied you can see they've said congratulations so they are going to be reviewing our account and we are going to receive it uh, an email once our account has been approved and once it's up it's been approved we'll be able to receive payments so not too long ago i received some emails from payoneer so the very first email was regarding verifying my email address the second email was that they were my payoneer was under review and the last one was that my payoneer account was approved so let's click on the very first one and verify our email so i'll just click on verify my email and once i click it it's going to take me to sign in so it has said my email has been successfully verified so alhamdulillah so then the next email was informing me that my account is um under review and to take three days you can see three days but it didn't take actually up to 30 minutes before they actually responded as you can see this is 108 and this is 121 pm so 
It didn't take up to 30 minutes and you can see that they approved it. We are happy to tell you that you've approved your, so you can sign in. So I can sign into my account. So I'm going to sign in now so you see how it looks. I'll click on sign in. <coughs> So I'm going to input my email and my password and click on the sign in button. So I'll pause the video now to do that. So I'm done filling my information and I'll click on sign in. So I'll save this. So now it's asking for two step verification. So this is what I was saying before that when you have the number you set up is what they're going to be sending to step verification. And so I'll turn it on. And it's going to avoid anyone from trying to hack our account. Anyone that tries to hack our account will be required to actually impute that code that they will send to you on your number. So it's going to be another level of security. So I'm going to pause the video and impute it and submit it now. So I'll hit the submit button now. So for the first time, it's going to give you a code. They are going to put in a safe place so i'm going to copy that code and keep it somewhere safe so i and just in case you need to recover your account it will be very useful so you click on ok so i'll save it under my keep just as i've said before it's saying welcome back on shoot before continuing your account please provide the following updates so i'll click on update now so it's going to ask the security question And it's going to also ask me to choose another set of security questions. So I have three security questions. So this is the first security question. I'll answer it. So I'm also going to fill the second and I'll also fill the third. So I'm going to pause the video now and do that. So once you're done filling in the three security questions, then you're going to click on change. So in my case, I made sure that I backed it up under my keep. So, so that in case I forget or I need it in the future, I know where to find it. So and I'm going to click on change. So they are going to send another code to us again. So you see why I said that it's very important to use a phone number that you're always having access to because you're going to be needing it a lot when you're doing your verification process. So I'm going to pause the video and also impute it now. Alhamdulillah, so our account has been approved. So if you scroll down a bit, you can see that this is our USD balance, our Euro balance and our pound balance. So Alhamdulillah. So here we have get account details and request the payment and download the app so you can download the mobile app on your phone so that, that you can operate your account on your phone and you can also request for payment but i think this gets account details and request the payment they have some conditions so i'm going to open them so i will go through the conditions together so let me click on this first so you can see this one has a condition that you must earn 50 dollars before they give you a united states bank account so whenever you need to receive funds you can just give any client your email that's the email associated with your pioneer account and you can send the money to your pioneer account so the only condition for that is that whoever is sending it to you must have a pioneer account so if they don't have a pioneer account they won't be able to send the money to you so that's just the condition so another way about around that is you link your pioneer account to your upwork account such that whenever you make any earnings on upwork you can withdraw it to payona and that way you'll be able to have access to the bank account details for all of the three accounts so once you have 50 dollars withdrawn into your account you'll be able to get the us the united states bank account the pounds and also the euro bank account so let's go back to the home again so the second one is requesting a payment so the Request the payment feature allows you to just send a request to anyone via their mail and they will receive the mail and they'll be able to make payments directly from their mail. So, but for this one too, you would, if you scroll up a bit, you can see, they said before you can request payments, you must have received up to $5,000. So you have to receive $5,000 before you'll be able to have access to this feature. So now the last one is what I mentioned earlier, which is about the app. So you just need to download the app to access this feature. So I think that's all about the home page. So for the get paid page, so we've explained what request the payment is. So this batch payment request to multiple payers is that it allows you to actually send 
batch requests to multiple people to pay you at a time so that's the feature so that is also it also looks like request a payment but it's just that for multiple people so you have to receive five thousand dollars to be able to have access to it too so let's go back and the last one is receiving accounts we've mentioned receiving accounts before that we would need fifty dollars to be able to get a receiving account so with receiving account people can actually just send money to our receiving account and to appear in our pay in balance so next one is pay so this pay feature allows you to pay other pioneer uh, recipient account recipient so if you click on it so here it's saying that you need to have two thousand dollars before you can actually as in i've received two thousand dollars before you can actually send payments to other pioneer users so let's go back so pay an amazon ad advertising invoice so this is to pay for amazon ads so if you are doing amazon ads you can use it to pay so let's go back again and this one is for paying your VAT so that's your tax so so you choose your country and you make the payments as necessary so the next one is um, cards so for cards um, you would need to have made hundred dollars on the platform so once you've made hundred dollars on Payoneer then you will be able to request for a card the card is going to be free so they're not going to charge you for the card but you, but you won't be able to request for a card until you have actually um made a hundred dollars so this is it so and the cards that you can have are both three currencies so all these three currencies so and you can also have canadian dollars too so withdraw and transfer so you can withdraw to bank so in our case you remember when we're registering our account we were asked to fill our account details so here if you come to manage bank account you see that account that we filled then so you can see that this is the account we filled then so when we are done setting up our gray account we are going to click on add account here and we're going to also add our gray account here such that whenever we want to withdraw it's going to be that gray account we are going to be withdrawing to so um let's go back again to so withdraw and transfer so here it has to do with converting currency so you can convert your usd balance to a part of your usd balance or all of it however you like to maybe um pounds or to um euro depending so if, for example if you have a a pound or euro account you can actually convert it first to that um currency before sending it to that account so that's the essence of the convert um currency feature so the next one is the account activity so this shows you transactions payment requests that you've sent do you understand you can also request for letter of good standing and monthly statements so all of these are things that you can use your pioneer account for so here is where you have the list of your bank accounts we've been here before but we got into withdrawal and transfer so and the last one is the business network so so basically it shows companies that you work with your business applications refer a friend and the apps you have connected to your pioneer so that's a wrap-up of everything about pioneer on the left side of things so for this side if you click on it this has to do with things that have to do with your profile so you can click on settings and you can edit your settings security settings and every other thing and you can use user management this is a new feature i've not tried it out before but it's more like having other people also having access to your pioneer account but i've not tried it before so then the support center so the support center is where you can actually just reach out to pioneer support in case you have any issues or you have any questions so you can just reach out to them so that's really all about it for pioneer so inshallah we're going to be proceeding to setting up our gray account in a bit we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses our affairs so now for our gray account setup so what we're going to be needing is to is the link to actually access gray so for you to access you can just go to gray.co and their website and you are going to be able to access it and start your sign up we also have an affiliate link that allows us to get five dollars whenever you have made five hundred dollars foreign um, transfer into your gray account so if you want or if you are interested in actually using our link you can use it whereby we get the five dollars after you've made five hundred dollars um, in foreign um, funds on gray and if you're not interested in that you can just go to gray.co and just sign up so either ways the process is going to be the same so there's there are two stages to your gray account setup so the first stage to your gray account setup is for you to sign up maybe on your system if you don't have a system you can do everything using your phone 
you understand but if you have a system you can start with your system and after you are done with the system there's a part that requires you to use your phone which is the kyc part so it will require you to actually use your phone so i'm going to be doing those two um stages live here and i'm going to be showing you why is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it easy for us so for us and for anyone that wants to use the link all you need to do is just go to the resources document and i'm also going to be attaching the link that's our referral link to the i'm going to be pinning it to the first comment on this under this video likewise i'm also going to be adding it to the description of the video inshallah so once that is properly understood i'm going to be going to our sheet so these are our challenge resource sheets so this is the link here you can see so i've noticed some people are making requests to edit you don't need to edit it you just need to copy it do you understand you don't need to edit it and if you feel you want to have the same copy of this file you can just come to file make a copy if you make a copy it's going to copy the whole of this thing into your own um into your own google doc but the only side effect of it is that if you decide to do it like that anytime we update this document you the one you have will not be updated that's just the only side effect so you choose what works for you so basically we are going to click this is the registration link so we are going to copy the registration link and we're going to paste it in our browser Control v so there we go so it's going to take us to gray's um home page where it's going to ask us to sign up so you can see get started it's free so that's what we're going to click on get started it's free so it's going to ask for our country of residence so we're in nigeria so we're going to input nigeria sometimes does that so you need to input nigeria and you select it so you click on continue so thereafter they are going to ask for our personal information just similar to what we add on pioneer so it's going to ask for our name our first name our son name which is our last name our agenda our email address and our phone number so we are going to input all of that then the last one is going to ask is our referral code for this referral code for those of us who want to use um allow the last referral link you need to input the referral code and for you to get the referral code you get it here in the document so this is the referral code you can see this rqupi so just copy it and you're going to paste it there so all you just need to do is copy it and you paste it there so let me just copy it here like this and we paste it here so that's it so i'll fill in the other information and we're going to continue with the setup now so i'm done filling the information so the next thing i'm going to do is click on continue so once I click on continue, it's going to ask me to create my password. So I'm going to create my password now and I'll click on continue. So I'm done inputting my password. So I'm going to click on continue. So I'll save this. So uh, they are going to verify our email address by sending an OTP. So we're going to go to our email address. So and we'll wait for the OTP to arrive. So, okay, you can see the OTP has arrived. So you can see. So I'll just copy the OTP and I'll paste it here. So now I'll click on verify your account. So it's asking me what I want to use Gray for. So yes, I would want to use a virtual card. I won't be using it for this. Just look for what um, works for you. In my case, yes, I'll be using it for foreign receipt. I won't be using it for invoice. I won't be using it to send money abroad. I won't be using it to save. I won't be so it's basically for virtual card and um, foreign accounts. So that's what I'll be using it for. So I'll just submit it. So as you can see, my Gray account has been set up, but there's a pa second part to it, which is actually the KYC. You can see this is the KYC. So this for this KYC, you will need your phone to do it. So if you try to click on complete my setup on your system, because it requires you to actually do it self, whereby they will even see your face and all of that. So you might not be able to do it on your system. So you will need to do it on your phone. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the Gray app to be able to do it. So, but before we do that, I want to just show you the interface of gray inshallah so i'm going to be explaining everything to you in a bit so on this left side you have the home so on the home you're going to have your balances you can see the united states pounds euro and the nigerian so usually whenever you receive funds depending on which account you use so if it's dollars you receive maybe on pioneer the account linked here is what you are just going to withdraw to once you've added it to your pioneer and you see your balance here so you convert this money that is in this balance to your nigerian balance then after you've converted it to your nigerian balance then you can send the money from your nigerian balance to any bank account you like in nigeria so that's how it works the same thing applies with pounds the same thing applies with euros so and you can also change the money on pioneer to any other currency so you can change it to pounds you can change it to euro and bring it to whether your pounds or your euro account here so however you like to deal with your funds you can always do it so that's basically about the balance 
So you can also use it to send money, but I personally, I don't usually use the feature, so I can't say much about it. Then you can also request for a virtual card too. So once you are done activating your, um, your account, you'll be able to access all of this. So, so, and their card, their virtual card is one of the best online. They usually have almost a 90% acceptance rate. So if you want to buy anything online that has to do with dollars, it's your go-to. So it's very, very, it's a very, very good card that you can use. So even if you don't have dollars in your balance you can still use their card you can always top up your nigerian balance and after you top up your nigerian balance you now convert that naira to dollars in your dollar account and with that dollar account you can top up your virtual card so and with that you can purchase anything you want to purchase online so we're going to be explaining all of this in, in depth inshallah so and topping up on gray is very easy because they will give you a bank account for your nigerian uh balance so your nigerian balance will have a bank account so it's just like sending money from one bank account to another they usually use wayman sterling bank so it's going to be it's something that i use a lot especially this card feature even if i don't have funds on this account i actually use their virtual card a lot because it works a lot for a lot of transactions i've tried in the past so now that we understand what is here so here you see your recent transactions so now we understand this interface the next one is the accounts so because we are yet to do our kyc we won't have any accounts here but let's wait for it to load you can see so this is the account so this is where you are going to be switching between so if you wanted to convert funds from one account to another you can convert it so you just click on convert from that you convert it but as of now we don't have funds in the account so if you click on convert you can see you can convert from nigerian naira to another account so if i choose naira for example if i if i have a specific amount in naira i can convert it to usd you understand and if you want to know the rate, if you just input maybe five thousand naira it will tell you how much okay five thousand naira will get you three dollars you can see so it will tell you how much you'll be able to get and with that you can always even use their card feature so but you will need to activate your account to be able to fully use it by the time you try to start doing all of those things it's going to ask you to activate your account so then the same thing with any of these other so with this gray account other than the fact that you'll be able to use it to receive funds when you want to make payments online it's a very 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 good solution for that so the same thing with payments here so if you want to use it to buy that and all of those stuff gift cards and the like so uh, and you can also use it for invoicing i don't use it for invoicing but you can use it for it too so here is just for you to check your balance and here you'll be required to uh for to to um if you need proof of account or proof of statement and things like that so you'll be able to access it here and then to this side is the setting of your account so you can see different settings on your account so you can this is the security side of things this is transaction limits and this is the account verification so it will tell you that you should do your kyc you can see so and notification so that's basically it so, so and if you want to contact their support you can contact it here your account setting or your profile setting so this this is all about the interface itself so inshallah we are going to be um, doing the kyc side of things inshallah after this so for us to start our verification process the very first thing we want to do is to install the gray app on our phone so you go to play store and you search for gray so this is it gray so you're going to click on install so it is done installing so i'm going to click on enable and thereafter i'll click on open so it's going to ask if i want to create account or log into my account so i'm going to just click on log into your account so it's going to ask me for my email address and password and i'm going to input that now so i'm waiting for it to send a code to my email address so i'm going to go into my email address and go and check the code so i've seen the code so i'm going to input the code now And I'm going to click on login. So because this is my first time, it's going to ask me to set up my pin. So I'm going to set it up. And I'm going to continue. It's going to ask me to confirm. I'll do the same. And I'll click on continue. So it's going to ask me to proceed to the dashboard. So I'll proceed. So it's asking me if I want it to send notifications, I'll click on allow. So now I'm on my dashboard.
so now when we want to start our KYC, it's good we know what we'll be needing so there are three major things we'll be needing other than the information we're going to be providing to them the first thing we're going to be needing is an account statement so you'll be needing your account statement so if you're using a app maybe the and GT Bank app or maybe OP app or all of those banks, you can actually just download your account statement. So you'll be needing that account statement. So it will be showing you your name. So another thing you're going to be needing is a means of identification. So for the means of identification, there are a number of them that they accept. They say they accept passports, driver's license, NIN ID card, NIN sleep and voters card. So and the last thing is the one that has to do with you actually um putting your face to the camera and they want to verify your face and in for that one many people usually face challenge and the major challenge is lighting so whenever you want to do it just make sure that it's during the day and just go outside go outside in broad daylight and just do your verification so that's going to save you from any issue of whether the light is enough or is not enough or anything so once you understand that so we're going to start the kyc together inshallah so what we're going to do is we're going to click on kyc i'll click on begin kyc verification so you can see it's asking for my basic information my home address my state my city my zip code we've explained how to get your zip code before so it's asking for proof of address so and lastly our date of birth so for this proof of address you can use your bank statements you say i explained bank statements you can also use your utility bill yes so if you have um what do you call it your electricity bill do you understand that as your address you can use that one too for your you can use that one also for your proof of address any one of them works but for the purpose of this one i'm actually going to be using the bank statement do you understand so the bank statement should have your address on it so if you are using op the beautiful thing about op is that on op you can actually edit it you can edit your address on op before printing it out so it's, it makes it so very easy to use in case you don't have the one for your utility bill or electricity bill and that's why i'm going to be using it so uh now that we understand all of that i'm going to continue filling the information as necessary so here it's asking if I am a. Uh, it's asking, do you identify as a politically exposed person? I don't know what that means. So I'll click this I icon. So he said PEP politically exposed person. PEP is a person who currently holds or has held within the last five years a specific office or position or on behalf of the federal or provincial or territorial government, not limited to municipal. So it means if if I'm military office so it means if i'm a political person i'm not a political exposed person so it's no are you a fa are you a family member and or close associate of a political exposed person no i'm not so it depends on you so it depends on what uh, your status is so you just for me i don't know any political exposed person so you click on continue so now the last one is about the verification so there's a video here so you can actually watch the video to know more about um verifying so it's basically what i've actually explained in the past so we're going to click on begin identity verification So I would give its permission while using the app. Okay, I'll tell you to get started. Okay, it's saying that I'm going to need to do my ID verification and I'm also going to be doing a selfie check. Do you understand? So I have both ready. I'm ready for my selfie and I also have my ID ready. So I'll click on I'm ready. So it's asking which of these um, documents I have. So you can see I said name, number, driver's license, voter's ID card, national ID, passport. So in my case, it's the name I have. So name, number. 
they've actually updated it the last time i did it i actually separated the nin um, id and the nin sleep so with this one they're just asking for your nin number which is a lot better so i'm going to input my nin so now it's asking me to take a photo of myself so i'm going to need to stand up and go outside to where there is enough light to be able to do that so it's now saying that my verification is under review so let's see how we go so we'll get back to us once it's completed so we ask our last printer blesses it for us so you two can do the same we have done it step by step so i'm just going to go back home so i've done everything in step by step well alhamdulillah you see it says your account has been verified your kyc has been approved and you can now proceed to make your first transaction on green so alhamdulillah so our account has been verified so we're going to click on close so we have our account active so i'm going to be showing you through the interface now and just so that you understand you'll be able to take benefits from all the benefits of green so the very first thing is when you on your home page you will see this icon which is the icon that has to do with your um, user if you click on it it's actually going to take you to your user and you see the basic information about your user thereafter you have this us dollar if you click on it you can use it to change to whether it's british pounds or whether it's euro account or whether it's the nigerian account do you understand so you can change in between all of those accounts now when you are there you can click on account so for the first time you will not have any account balance you won't have any account details there do you understand you can see so you will now click on get your usd account so you're going to click get your usd account so it's going to ask you to confirm your details <clears throat> they are just asking us to confirm that the first name and our last name are actually accurate yes it's accurate so we click on continue so it's asking what do we do so in our case we are actually freelancers so i'm a freelancer so it's going to ask for our basic information to your occupation is going to ask you the platform you use and it's also going to ask you your freelance profile do you understand and your monthly income too so in our case we are our job title writer okay writer So it's asking me to select platform. In our case, it's Upwork. So I'm going to choose Upwork. It's going to ask us the URL to our account. So you will need to provide your Upwork account URL. So I'm going to do that now. So to get your Upwork link, you are going to go to Upwork.com. On the browser that you have signed into your Upwork, you created your Upwork account. So once you're logged in, you're going to click on your name like this. Just click on it. So you wait for it to load. Just still wait a bit. Good. So it's done loading. So you see this share button. So just click on share. And you click on copy link. So and it's this link we're now going to go and paste in our gray. So you paste the link here then the next one is your monthly income band what's the range of the amount you're going to be receiving so let's put it between 500 and 1000 for now so we tick it and we now submit so once you submit your account will be created for you so we'll do that so it's under review once they review it and it's accurate we are going to be accepted so we go back to our home the same thing applies to other accounts you can actually apply for them come here you go to british click on account you can see the same process get it continue so the next one too what's the next account euro so you will need to do the verification again you click on account again and you click get your euro account 
and click on continue so and it's going to tell us it's processing and we'll go back so for our nigerian account we click on it we click on get nigerian account click on continue so for your nigerian account it ask for your bvn so it's going to ask for your bvn you click on it and you add your bvn and it's going to give you a nigerian account so once you have your nigerian account if for example you want to use cards you come to cards here you understand and you click on get started so for cards you need to have some money on your if you click on i confirm and you click on create card it won't go it will tell me insufficient balance so the way to do it is that you would actually come here under your nigerian account you come to account in my case i don't have a nigerian account yet so but if you have a nigerian account you see your nigerian account there and with that you can actually just use you just send money to it so once you send money to it you now come back here again it's under your nigerian account and you click on convert so you now convert from the nigerian money to usd let's say you convert maybe five thousand naira. it won't go through though but you see the amount five thousand naira is three usd and okay you can see eight thousand five hundred gives us like a bit above five dollars so with this eight thousand five hundred, if i click on continue assuming i add money in my nigerian balance to deduct it and to convert it into my dollar account so with that i can just come to cards and once i apply it will create a card for me and with that card i can make payments anywhere in the world in dollars so this is a very convenient way i use it a lot so that's basically it about creating your great account so here is the history it's going to show you history of your transactions and here is more about your account transaction limits and other things that you need to know about your account so that's basically everything you need to know about using gray so once you're giving your bank account let's say for example we have our dollar account okay alhamdulillah they've even given us our dollar account you can see they've given us our dollar account alhamdulillah so this is the dollar account that you're going to go and add in payoneer so this account you add it to your payoneer account and when you add it to your payoneer account when you withdraw it will just come into this dollar balance let's check the other currencies given to us you can see we already have our uk the same thing with euro come click on account you can see we have been given our euro account so this is how you do it. so this all of these accounts usually i just link everything to my payoneer just depends so if i receive dollars i'll withdraw it straight away if i re receive pounds i'll withdraw it if i receive euros i'll just withdraw it depending on what i'm working with so the same thing can apply for you so you just withdraw it straight into your gray account and from your gray account all you need to do is now just convert so if it's you you just convert it to nigerian naira from your nigerian naira account you can just click on send so if it's euro now for example that you receive you just click on convert so and when you click on convert you can just click on let's say let's say it's 500 euros you just convert it and you click on nigerian naira here so it will tell you the equivalent okay and you click on continue and it's going to credit your nigerian account so from your nigerian account now you can now just send if you click on send you can send money to anyone but because we are yet to activate our nigerian account so the person i'm creating this account for does not have a pvn yet so i can't actually create that yet so until he gets his pvn and that might not be something so fast so you just click on send send to new recipient so it's going to ask you for the country you see nigeria you click on it and you enter the person's account details you can choose the bank account you can see and you enter and you continue and you send money so that's how easy it is you can receive money from anywhere in the world in any international currency so i'm going to be showing you practically how you can add your gray bank account to your pioneer account so what we're going to do is we're going to first sign into gray so and I'm going to click on login. So I've logged in. So what I want to do now is to check the account. If I click on any of them, it's going to show me the account. So if I scroll down, so you can see this are my account details. So I'm going to add it to my account on 
Pioneer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Pioneer. Pioneer. So my account dot pioneer dot com is where I want to go to. This one, my account dot pioneer dot com. So it's going to take me to the sign in page. So I'll click on sign in. It's going to ask me to do this puzzle. I'll start the puzzle. So what you just need to do is make sure that the direction of this hand is the same as the direction of this robot. So it differs for everyone. So I think this is it is facing this direction and it's facing this direction. So I'll submit it. Okay, so I'm already here. So what I want to do is I want to come to bank account. And I'll click on add account. So it's a personal account I want to add, but it's not a Nigerian account. In this case, it's United States. So United States of America. So the currency is in USD. And I click on next. So it's going to ask me for the name of the bank. So if I come here, I'm going to click on this to view the name of the bank. So this is the name of the bank, Community Federal Savings Bank. So I'll just copy it. I'll come here. And I'll select Community Federal Savings Bank. So the name of my account, the name of my account is obviously, I'm sure that the ledger, so I'll just copy it here. And I'll paste it here. So then the account number. So I'll come back here. This is the account number here. I'll copy it and I'll paste it. Then the routing number. So this is the routing number. I'll copy it. I'll come here and I'll paste it. So it's asking for the account type. If you come here, you see account type checking. You can see checking. So you come here and you, and you could choose checking. You can see. So you agree to the terms and you confirm that the details are correct and you click on next. So it's asking you, do you want to add? Yes, add bank account. So you can see it said it has been added, Alhamdulillah, and the approval takes 30 minutes. They will mail us once it's done. So Alhamdulillah, so we'll go back. So we have successfully added our USD account. So what we want to do is we want to add other bank accounts. So I'm going to also add our pounds and also euro. So for my pounds account, I'll come here and I'll repeat the same process again. And the same thing for my euro, I'll come here and I'll repeat the whole same process again. So this is basically how you can link your Pioneer account to your grey account so whenever you now want to withdraw all you just do is you are going to choose this bank account and after a few moments you will get your money right here in grey and finally you will now withdraw into your nigerian balance as explained earlier so we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it better understood and said and he forgives us our shortcomings and he blesses our affairs subhanakallahumma bihamdik nash'adu ala ila illa ant wa nastakfiruka wa natubu ilayk Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.